All right, man, let's talk about where the Milwaukee Bucks rank in the NBA. Um, um, and in the Eastern Conference, we can start off in the Eastern Conference first. They made a trade. Now you got some people saying it won't work. Um, you know what I'm saying? You got some people saying, oh, man, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. You know, you got people hating. And the majority of people that's hating on this trade is LeBron fans. Anytime um, – and these whole ass Laker fans, yeah, I said it. Um, you know, anytime, uh, especially LeBron fans in particular, but um, anytime you see somebody uh, team up together, LeBron fans got a problem with it. But when he was, you know, making plays and teaming up with people, it was okay. They always want him, oh, go get Dame, go get Anthony Davis, go get Giannis, go get, go, go get Steph Curry or whoever it is, go get Kawhi Leonard, go get Paul George. They always. You know, they always, you know, trying to get somebody and feel like they got to team up. That's why I don't feel like he that great. He always got to have somebody next to him. He always got to have a way to Kyrie or something. And nobody ever gets it done by himself. You know, and then his fan base just, oh, man, he should go get him. And we need him. We need him. Dude, you got the best player in the world. <laughs> you know, so anytime somebody may, oh, Kevin Durant is terrible for that. No, you hating because Kevin Durant made that move. And he made the, the transition seamlessly, unlike LeBron. Everybody had to adjust to LeBron. Kevin Durant don't need the ball. LeBron without the ball, dude, he ain't shit. We all know it. He need the ball in his hand. I ain't mad at him. He that good that you want the ball in his hand every time. So I'm not tripping on that. So anytime somebody make a move like this, is oh man, you know, uh, uh, you know, it ain't gonna work. They ain't gonna do it. They sound like that day from Friday. And check out the NBA Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. But you look out here, there is dysfunction in the top of the East. The first three, the two, two out of the first three teams is dysfunction. Then you got some middle. Then you got, I think Cleveland is in a tier by itself. And then you got the middle of the pack, Knicks and Nets. And, and I think the Heat is like right there with Cleveland. I would say, well, I say the Heat is tier two with Cleveland. Then tier three, you got the middle of the pack. You got New York. We, you know. Not sure how good Brooklyn really is. We'll see this year, but I think New York is like a middle of the pack team. And then you got teams that's, you know, that's on the rise. Uh, Charlotte was on the rise a few years ago. Miles Bridges, LaMelo Ball, they got sold by Michael Jordan. Orlando Magic is definitely on the rise. Um, Indiana's one of them teams that's uh, they on the rise. Detroit, hopefully, that's my piss and check out my Detroit Channel Mercy Sports Talk. They should be on the rise. So you got teams on the rise Detroit, Charlotte. Orlando, Indiana, and I think Charlotte is is in, in Toronto. I think Charlotte is the leader. I think Orlando is the leader of that rise. Uh, they rise, in fact, in Atlanta. You know, Atlanta, Atlanta's kind of in a, a funny place. They're young. They've been to the top, peaked out. Now they're trying to sort some things together. I think they made some things complicated by going to get DeJounte Murray. Um, I didn't really understand that, um, you know. Maybe they should have traded for Hill Burton, a bigger, a bigger two guard, a bigger guard who can run the one and didn't let Trey go be the combo two guard that you want to be. But I'm not pretty sure where they're going. But they're young enough to still be a team on the rise, even though they've been to the Eastern Conference and peaked out pretty soon. I think the issue is Trey Young got to be a better leader. Trey Young got to be a better defender. Trey Young got to be overall a better player and utilize his teammates more than you know, playing for stats and points and playing for assists. That's pretty much how I break down to me. Okay. Um, you know, Boston's dysfunction right now is they don't have a they don't have a leader. You know, they don't have somebody that's that's gonna a veteran that's gonna lead them, galvanize them, get them together. Um, they don't have that right now. Drew Holiday would put them as the best team in the NBA, in my opinion, right there next to them under Denver. You know, they would easily be the team of the East to beat. He's a leader, he's a defender. Um, he can facilitate a little bit, but that's what they need. You know, if they was able to get Drew Holiday, then I think, you know, they, you know, and Joe, you know, Missoula, he learned from his mistakes last year. Then I think they'd be one of them teams that's definitely on the rise, in my opinion. Um, uh, you know, but then you're talking about Philadelphia, just dysfunction there. You hear um, James Harden is just an immature punk beach, bish, I don't want to cuss, um, you know. Uh, and that's just what it is. Um, he did, you know, as a club order bottle service, and it says Darren Moore is a liar. He's trying to cry his way 
out of Philadelphia. And I hope Daryl Morey stand his ground on his punk ass. Yeah, I said it. I hope he do and keep his ass there. I don't like James Harden. He don't take the game serious. I stopped really messing with him. After that that game six, they lost to uh, the Spurs where Kawhi Leonard sat down. Um, where Kawhi Leonard sat down. And they set him for, you know, hoping to go to game seven. And he laid the egg. I said, yeah, I'm done with old buddy. I'm done with him. So, you know, and then Joel and B ain't got that much time. He came in the league with lower body injuries. He still ain't in no type of fucking shape. You look at Jokic, he went to go get in shape. Joel still in, in no type of shape. So what's the countdown till Joel, till Joel uh, and B get injured again? His career about to be over with. If they were smart, he about to be on the decline. If they were smart, they'll trade him and get what they can get for him right now and restart the process. That's just me. Because you know a, another major injury coming. He don't keep his body up good enough. His weight ain't where it need to be, just like Zion Williamson. So out there in East right now as it stands, unless Drew Holiday, I don't care if Drew Holiday go to the uh I don't care if Drew Holiday go to the uh if he go to Boston, I think Boston the favorite. You know, if he go to you know Miami, I don't think it make a difference for real. Um, so right now I would say Milwaukee. What they done with Dame? You got Brooke Lopez. You got Robin Lopez. Um, you know you got uh, you know Pat McConaughey. What's the dude's name? Yeah, you got Pat McConaughey. I can't even ever pronounce his name. You know you got uh, Marshawn Bochamp. I think hopefully they can get something out of Marshawn Bochamp. They can get something out of him, young fella, and he can reach his potential. They're gonna be scared. Good Jay Crowder, Goran Dragic's not under contract yet. Um, Chris Milton, Bobby Porter. So they got a good team. I don't know much about the coach, Adrian Griffin, but they got a really good team. But the window is the window. If this window is going to stay open, they got to draft better, okay? They literally got to draft better. They got to find Brooke Lopez's eventual replacement. You know, for this team to, you know, go on and, and be good for a window longer than three to five years, um, a lot of it is going to boil down to them drafting. That's just what it is in the development of Marshawn Bochamp. If Marshawn Bochamp can develop, um, they're gonna be they're gonna be good for a long time. Giannis gonna stick around for a long time. You know what I'm saying? If Marshawn Bochamp, you know, where they don't draft well, then you know, they're not gonna be along. They're not gonna be around a long time. That window gonna close, and Giannis gonna get the hell up out of there. So um, a lot of it depends on development. Now, overall, when we talk about uh, you know what they what they can do out uh, in 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 the grand scheme of things, I don't really hold the Western Conference too high. Memphis gonna miss Jai for what thirty six games or whatever it is. Don't even know where his head at. He's been quiet this summer, so that's pretty good. I know his shoe sold out. They just released a new uh, colorway for his shoe as well too. So. Um, you know, so I, I, you know, Memphis dude, I, you know, I don't, I don't really know where to, where to really start at with them. Good team, just some immaturity there. Um, I'm not high on Phoenix. They don't have enough depth in the grand theme, of, grand scheme of things. They foundation, their team is built on three injury prone ass ninjas and Yusuf Nurkic, Kevin Durant is old. He passes prime, and Devin Booker, I love him. He like my second, third favorite player behind Dame, but he can't stay healthy. The Clippers can't stay healthy. I think when you talk about the West, you categorize it like this is Denver and Golden State. I like what Golden State did, getting rid of Jordan, uh, getting rid of Jordan Poole, you know, hopefully bringing some, you know, calmness and serenity to the team to Draymond fuck it up. It's them two. Then I say tier two is like the Suns, the Lakers, the Clippers, and they're not going to be healthy. So, and then I think anything outside that ma that matters is, you know, the rise of Oklahoma City Thunder. That's it. Everybody else don't matter, in my opinion. It's the rise of the Oklahoma City Thunder. So, um, and realistically, I really just think it's Denver and Golden State for the Western Conference. Um, like I said, you know, I think Sacramento is a team that's dangerous. They're in that tier two range, too. I think it's tier one, tier two, and every in Oklahoma City, and then everybody else. Um, I think Denver is still the best team in basketball right now. Um, Yoke is facilitating his post. You know, Jamal Murray, you know, he'll be another year removed off the ACL injury. So maybe a little bit stronger. Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, they got camaraderie. They got confidence. 
by far they're the best team in basketball. Then I was I would I would say then Mil then probably Milwaukee on paper, then Golden State, um, then Boston. Those round out the top four for me. And if I had to get a fifth team in there, I'm probably going to go ahead and say, um, you know, Memphis right now. I just left them all day in transition. But I said if I had to get a fifth team in there, I probably would go ahead and that's tough. I probably would go ahead and, and you know what, I'm going to go on the limb and I'm going to go ahead and put Sacramento as my fifth team. I know what I said, Rain. I'm going to go ahead and just take a wild guess. And say they 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 probably going they probably them or Oklahoma City Thunder be my fifteen. I expect I, I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna go Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm gonna go ahead and go them. Chad Hungry coming back. They figuring it out. I'm gonna say they my fifteen. I'm gonna go out on the limb there. Um, the rest of them teams got too many. The Lakers too old. The Suns you know they old and beat up too. The Clippers old and beat up. Um, you know, the 76ers, they will be my fifth team. They got too much dysfunction going on. Got to see what happened there. I like Cleveland a lot, but some things got to change over there. Um, but, hey, that's just what I believe. But I think Milwaukee probably the second best team in NBA on paper right now. But that's why they play the games. But I, I really, really like what Golden State did. I really, really like Denver Nuggets. I was on that train for the last few years. They did it. And see if they can do it again. So, um, But I say Milwaukee about the second best team on paper. But – um, we got to see their older team, too, with Dame. So um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, is the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link inscription. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.